What if y'all today we're gonna be doing? What if Sasuke had Kurama sword in him to part three? Oh. <laughs> and it took me like two weeks to get this out because I procrastinated my whole way. I I had the script done for a good week or two. I literally had it done once the first video came out. I already had the script done, so nothing to say about my uh procrastination. But uh, I'll be do trying a new way to write my scripts because I rescripted it today. And I also trying out a new way to do my thumbnails. Y'all tell me which one's better. Now let's quickly go over to the forest of death. <laughs> now we're gonna like, skip all the fillers with this people who try to fake them out. So Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura. De well, I mean Hinata decide to uh, make a passcode. So um, nobody can um take advantage of them and stuff. They them knowing that Naruto probably not gonna remember it in Sasuke Naruto before it telling them Sasuke and them if we make a code I'm not gonna remember it on purpose. And I'm gonna make a quick retcon real quick. Sasuke and Naruto both learned the Rasengan. The key right carry thing I was doing for the first few episodes was just to put like a good stab move. Cause they didn't have no good stab moves or you know, good jutsu at the time. Well, they had good jutsu, but not like close range. I can destroy you right now. <laughs> but Orochimaru tries to put the password and stuff. Doesn't work out. Naruto comes back, stabs the snake with both his kunai hand. Stabbing them. And then saying, <laughs> that's quite funny. Try to attack my team when they're weak. And then, Naruto sends out two clones to go help out um, Hinata and Sasuke. Regrouping the team and them coming up with the plan. The uh, blitz, their blitzing plan. Basically, Naruto's going to send out some kunai. Sasuke is going to grab Naruto. is going to send the clone to Sasuke. Then they're going to teleport above Orochimaru. So, I'm over saying, guy, Hinata learn some of his chakra points. And Naruto stabs him with kunai. Then we're seeing guys. But to the view, the plan doesn't work as suspected. So when Naruto throws the kunai teleports Sasuke, Orochimaru tries to bite Sasuke with the curse mark. But the Rasengan blocks it. Thinking that he killed Orochimaru, Orochimaru comes out of his mouth through like a metamorphosis and stuff. The same jutsu he usually uses when he gets hit. And says, I might have to put a little more effort into this, I see. And then Hinata tries to start blocking points of chakra points, but to no avail, they just are not getting hit that well. And they keep trying to do that, but the strategy isn't working. Then, after Naruto getting hit with Kunai through the belly and stuff, Sasuke sees this and awakens his three tone Moe Shrine Guy and starts pounding Orochimaru. Again, Orochimaru tries to go for the bite on the neck, but to no avail, Naruto's chakra chains after seeing him awaken and restrain Orochimaru, making Orochimaru Orochimaru, basically, I had to take a break because I needed to drink some water, but making Orochimaru stop and Sasuke slams with her Senga. Still not killing Orochimaru because you know the metamorphosis kind of still make it fun. And then they keep trying and he not to Get some chakra points black and bro. Richmar realizing, all right, I'm gonna have to do this a different time because they're too strong. I'm gonna have to come back with my sound four, and they head out. Naruto Sasuke doesn't get the curse mark, but then um the uh little, I forgot his name. I didn't. I forgot to put his name in the script. Sorry, but uh can't get it off the top of my head. But. All of that goes on. They finished the Forest of Death. Now, on to the preliminaries. I'm only going to be going over the main fights. Naruto versus Neji. Fight 2. Hinata versus Garo. My favorite fight. Shikamaru versus Sakura, because I'm a Shikamaru fan. And Sasuke versus Shino. Now, to start off, Naruto versus Neji is going to be an all out brawl. Rasengan versus um, the rotation. And to start off, Neji's like. Hmm, I heard you were pretty strong. You defeated Zabuza. So let's start off. And basically, they rush all out. And 
the fight, Naruto, knowing from Hinata that if he gets his chakra points jammed, he ain't gonna be able to use any of his moves. So he's using shadow clones. Then Neji decides, is just taking out his shadow clones. And then, Naruto realizing that, shoot, I ain't gonna be able to do, to do this. And Naruto tries to use his chakra chains, which work. Neji barely misses. Neji almost gets hit. Then he rotations and blacks all the chakra chains. I gotta give him some weakness, you know. Please don't hate in the comments. <laughs> and I'ma say they get blocked. So Naruto says, there gotta be something I can do. And then he tries to do the flying rising. Basically, he's going to send his five clones in, all of them having the seal on them. And he, he's going to send for it. So he launches the clones. They're on his back, so he runs, runs. And he steps on the clones' back. No, doing the flying rising onto their back. Stepping on, jumping. And then she receives him by doing a rotation. Arts are thinking, since the rotation... Is like my recent gun. Can I possibly go through it? So he does his recent gun, the spinning spear. That's the, the um, that's the translation for recent gun. And he starts going through. Neji is surprised. So Neji decides, I'm in this and try to strike from ahead. Naruto noticing this, with the, he has two clones left because Neji took out the other two. Sends him from a side, and he teleports from each side, having two Rasengan guns. Some of the QB chakra is leaking, leaking, so he has two Rasengan guns in his hands. He teleports from a side, smacks Neji with that Rasengan gun in, on one side, then another, and it basically collides, putting Neji in a sandwich and breaking all how many ribs? It's like twenty-four ribs, breaking every single one. On to prior the most saddening fighting: Hinata versus Gara. I don't think I'm going to take that long. We all know what's going to happen. <laughs> it's just going to be a st straight massacre. Gara is just going to play around. But after seeing that, after seeing Gara playing around with Hinata, he, Arto says to Hinata, Hinata, you got this. Keep going on. You can beat him. And because I'm terrible at, uh, at uh, writing motivational stuff. <laughs> Says that it took me two weeks when I already had the script done. I sometimes lack motivation. It's hard for me to create motivation to speak. Well, I can't create them, but I'm, that's the best I can do right now. It's almost 1 a.m. I'm tired. But uh, let me stop diverging. And he not just starts going all out. She does. Then for the first time, she's able to perform one rotation, blocking the, and. It's the Hinata rotation. You know, her uh, affinity is lightning. So, with the lightning, she's able to move in the rotation. Basically, it rotates around her, but she's not rotating. And she's running at Gar. Gar, re Gar realizing this, decides to uh, wait until it's out, holding her off with sand. And does the sand coffin, breaking her on her, uh, basically dislocating her leg and shoulder and making her uh, paralyzed. <coughs> Sorry about that. On to Shikamaru versus Sakura. Shikamaru just wins through strategy. I'm not even going to go on this fight. We all know who's going to win. Sasuke versus Shino. This is the fight I wanted to do. I chose this because this will be a fun fight to watch. So, it's Shikamaru, the bug man, versus Sasuke, the cool guy, as they say. As I say. And, I'm going to say... She knows poisonous bugs do come a problem to Sasuke because Sasuke does not. So, Shikamaru sending his poison bugs goes down. Sasuke activating his three tone Moe Sharon guy. And basically, he can see the bugs coming. So, he has like a Sinbong trying to blow a Sinbong. It's like a little small needle. He's trying to stab each bug coming at him. But he starts getting overwhelmed and. He gets um, the poison in his bug. <clears throat> Feeling the poison running through his body rampantly. Um, he realizes, I'm at the end of this fight soon. I am going to be poisoned if I don't want to be fully poisoned if I don't end this soon. So, 
he starts rushing at him, being slower. You know, she don't got the basic kaijutsu. So, I'm going to say, because of the poison, um, Sasuke's kaijutsu was a lot lower. But he's still able to pull off the dub by using body flicker. I'm going to give him that. Fair enough. And when using body flicker, he's able to body flicker and hit him with a kunai through the chest, immobilizing, well, a few kunai, of course, immobilizing Shino and taking him out. And all, I'll be wrapping it up soon. So these are all the people who made it to the finals. Naruto and Sasuke, Gar, Shikamaru, Kakuro, Tamara, Tamari, Kiba, and Choji. Alright, I'm be ending it here. I gotta get to sleep, do other stuff. Peace.